What up gamers, Fence here, here, and welcome back to Shadowverse. So last time, we began the Entropy's Abyss reconclusion with Velstar turning of the cog, merging pads, the ones who remembered uh, the Prison of Time, Dead of the Blade, and Wholehearted Tales. That's the most I've done in a single video, I think, seven chapters. <laughs> and now we'll do it again with Wings of Loyalty, Unbreakable Wills, Absolute Defeat, A Beacon of Hope, Floess, Glittering Greens of Sand, and Back to the Land of Bullets, which, yeah, reveal, man. Can't wait to see how that goes. But yeah, next one is Wings of Loyalty, Drak who awakens in the past just like Sekka and Kagero hurries to find Aluzard. Yeah, with Drak here, I, I'm not worried about because his deck is actually really good compared to like Sekka, which I had a hard time with. But yeah, same deck as before. Did nothing different here. Let's do it, man. Here we go. What a joke. I don't know what he is. A vampire or whatever, but... My, if it isn't the young master. Why the long face? <laughs> just one of those days. I was just on my way to get a drink. Would you like to come along? Sounds good. I'll join you once I've finished a small matter. If you say so, young master. I guess I'll see you later then. <sighs> this sky's so dark. Does it look this way to you too, Elizard? Hmm. Hey. No effect at all. You're drinking too much. Perhaps. I knew it was odd. Downing those bloodshots isn't normal. I've died by them before. Drinking won't rid you of the past. You'll remember it more clearly when you wake. No doubt. So, how many have you had tonight? I do not remember. How many times have I asked that question? I do not remember. <laughs> that would make any man want a drink. What do you want? To give you a good thrashing. I've been waiting for the other customers to slink off. Well then, give me all you have got. Good. Here, drink my blood. <laughs> What's the matter? My scale's too tough for you to bite through? You are a straightforward man. Thanks to a certain person? I accept. Uh. You cannot win. But you would not know that. You're right. I don't know. And I don't care. There is no point in you fighting me. That may be how you see it. But there's meaning in it for me. Tonight is on me, buddy. Don't sweat if we get rowdy and stuff breaks. <laughs> well then. I won't bar this time. Let's do it. I gotta say with Drock's story, <laughs> it kind of felt... I don't know, I feel like his, his story didn't really mean much in a way if, you know, with his loop, he like diverges back. On me. from like at Floating the beginning. The of fate. Well, I guess that makes... I don't know. Like, like with the ending and stuff, like, because I feel like with Drock, his story doesn't really need to involve the loop. I guess maybe it's just there to, um, what is it called? Okay, hold on. Let me think about what I want to do here first. Uh, let me get rid of these cards. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, with, with Drock's story, it doesn't really feel that involved with the loop. Like the ending of it. Your blood shall sink. Unless maybe Drock remembers how it all ends and that's how we resolve his whole thing fast when he, um, had to go to his clan first before meeting up with Sekka and Kagero. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure if you guys know what I mean, but... <laughs> it's just his story, like, you know, we don't really need, need to see it that much for the, uh... If he wants to relate it to the loop stuff, right? Unlike Kagero, where his whole story happens, like, the whole loop thing happens after, right? I don't know. Not sure if I make sense. <laughs> uh, we can do this if you want. Discard a card. Hey, Oracle. We can do Oracle. Today is your lucky day, my friend. Oh, he's got the the roulette cards. Okay. Pain and suffering are what we live for. See that? Not bad. Okay. 
Just do that. <laughs> now we can get the vengeance. I have had enough. There's a wave coming. Hold on to your car. Again. Dang. You must become a demon to kill a demon. Hmm. Gonna have to use you. Or uh yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to use you. Pay thy reverence. Heaven demands it. I'll destroy you. You get on my nerve. Divine judgment awaits. What splendid. Yeah, I haven't drawn the best cards here. <laughs> Dusk and dawn. Um, well. Grovel. Eradicate. Already? I'll go for the face. Why not? But now he has the vengeance, which is <laughs> worrisome. This might take me another try too, because I drew some really bad cards. Like I don't like the cards I've drawn. Intriguing. Okay. I have done the gods' bidding. Ouch. Let's regroup. Should have gone for you. Oh, another one? Pay thy reverence. Heaven demands it. The hunt is on. At least now we got that. Hey, there's Drock now. Where the heck were you, buddy? Hmm. You don't know when to quit. Deal three damage to a random enemy follower. Oh shoot, so now I can't play this now. <laughs> Uh oh. Ooh, I might have lost this already. I think I lost this. <laughs> oh no. I mean, depends, man. If I can get this one, I might survive. And then if this hits this one, then I think we survive. Oh yes, I think we're okay for now. I think, but we'll see. If they can do at least five more damage, then yeah, we're pretty much done for. You must become a demon to kill a demon. Okay, we're good. And there's Drock again. Deal damage to all enemy followers. Then if X is at least seven. Hmm. We can evolve him too. If I feel like it. Yeah, if I want to clear out the field first, that can be a safe option. Um. Or what if I play this? We can reduce two costs to all the followers, right? Yeah, that won't work. Like, we can play him, but not Drock. We'll play Drock. Scorch you as black as these skies. You got a death wish or something? There we go. You want the world? Shut up and burn! Eradicate all demons! Nice. <laughs> Drock is looking really good right now. Abandon all reason and give in to desire. Okay, we win. Good job, Drock. You're the first one that. I actually use, like, use their own card, like their character cards, to finish Stop off the enemy burn. during the storyline. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I wasn't worried too much, but I did get worried about the hand that I was given. Told you you can't beat me. All right. Nice. Burn up. Now, this is something unusual. I have fought you before. After you had consumed the seer stone. Ooh, this is different. You are much more focused this time. However, it is still not enough to best me. Aren't you getting ahead of yourself? If that's not enough, how about this? Pointless, futile, impudent. That is all there is to this. That's all you say. It gets on my nerves. Certainly. You and I are too different. Huh. 
I'm talking about how it gets on my nerves because we're too similar! You said it yourself. It's not the external, but the internal. I'm repeating it back to you. It's the fault of whatever and whoever. That's all that's going through your head. You're just running away, Alizard! Perhaps. But there is no other way. You're just assuming that! I've been made to assume that. That attitude is what's getting on my nerves! <clears throat> you think you understand everything, but you see nothing! I shall return the same to you. You do not know anything. Ah, the paths I've taken. The despair. You know not a single thing about it. Of course I don't. You haven't told me. You won't let me in. How can I know? It is meaningless. You are wrong. I am not wrong. Drock. I am a leaf. A leaf wavering on the winds of fate. A leaf washed into the stream of fate. I no longer have any hope or volition of my own. Here we go again. Many times, you and the others have confronted me. Each time I ask, and you all answer, that I saved you. But my actions are just on a whim. If I felt like it, or if I did not, I just go the way things flow. Nothing more, nothing less. I am neither good nor evil. I am nobody special. Do not expect from me. Do not hope from me. I cannot be your salvation. An endless abyss is all I am. Sate my thirst. Blood arts! Would you not prefer to raise a glass with me? Rather than raising our fists. No. Not at all, you idiot. You're not getting it. Dang, he's really standing you up. think you know everything. But you're not seeing everything. On a whim? If you felt like it? Yeah, maybe that's true. But that doesn't matter. Because of you, I was able to fly towards my dream. You gave me something special. It may not be anything to you. But it meant everything to me! Get that through the thick skull of yours! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Serves you right. Finally landed a hit on you. You idiot. You have tough scales. Draw. On a whim? If you felt like it? Yeah, maybe that's true. But that doesn't matter! Because of you. I was able to fly towards my dream. You gave me something special. It may not be anything to you, but it meant everything to me! Get that through the thick skull of yours! Oh, I need a glass to dull the pain. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? Everyone fought him. Now let's see. Unbreakable wills. Having resigned himself to remain in perpetual solitude, Aluzard rejects the advances of Sekka, Drock, and Kagro again and again. However, despite being repeatedly rebuffed and cut down by the vampire, the three doggedly continued their efforts to approach him. Dang. They just kept on going, man. The nausea rises each time I wield my sword. Each time I pierce their body, my chest tightens. <laughs> This futility. I have had enough. This meaningless struggle is unnecessary. All of it. You don't care what I think. So why should I care what you think? Don't run away pretending like you know everything. Don't shut your eyes pretending like you're looking. How vexing. This frustrating beyond belief. I am fine. I am fine like this. There is nothing that can be done. There is nothing that should be done. This world has never loved me. I see no evidence to think otherwise. My own people have been rooted out and exterminated. I have run and run and run. At the end of it all, I am now at a dead end. I do not need anyone to tell me these things. I have done everything. 
I have tried everything, absolutely everything. I have saved, I have killed, I have cut, I have been cut. I have exhausted every possible choice and reached my limit. And still, why? Why do all of you stand before me? Because we're friends. It has been enough. More than enough. Kagiro. I have cut you down many times. Your skill with the sword cannot help you against me. Seka. I have stabbed you. And consumed you. I know the limits of your magic. Drak. You have not won even once. How many times must I break your wings? How many times do you think we have been through this? Let it end. I have reached the end of my tether. When will you be satisfied? Forget it all. Before the despair consumes you too. You're all just pests buzzing around, annoying me. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. You're the key. The only clue to understanding these incomprehensible loops. If we lose you, it's over. We'll be lost at the wayside, wandering forever. But it's not just that. We all have something we want to do for you. We've been cut down and stabbed and defeated over and over. We've even given up on beating you. But so what? What about it, Alizard? We won't listen even if you tell us to stop. You might have given up, but we haven't. No matter how many times we have to, we'll stand right here. I don't care how many times it takes or how much we struggle. We're gonna smack you out of that sorry state of yours. I gotta say, Drock has been the, the best voice in the group here. You can say we're annoying for all you want, but I know you like it lively. I still owe you a favor. You saved me, so now it's my turn to save you. <laughs> that is how things will be, huh? I suppose it is only normal for babies to cry. Then I suppose disciplining you will be my duty. If you refuse to understand the ways of the world, then I will make you understand. For those of you who have not given up hope, engrave this into your body. A soul. Gaze into the despair within me. And fall into the whirlpool of helplessness. Okay. Now they're all fighting together. Is that going to be the next one? Absolute defeat. Yeah, here we go. Desperate to save the vampire from his loneliness and despair, the trio confront Alizard in battle once more. Now, who do we choose? Oh, man. I mean, I, I did say that, you know... Uh, Drock was probably the best voice for for Alizard, but I do want to choose who might be like the most main character out of all these guys. I've always thought that, you know, Sekka is that character, but <laughs> that means we're going to have a hard time. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Let's go use Sekka. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get rowdy. How vexing. And you won't even look me in the eyes. That gets on my nerves. I have no desire to be liked by you or the world. Be gone. We cannot leave you behind, for we have favors we must repay. Pride, loyalty, all of it meaningless. I do feel like with Kagero, he's like the least, you know, I guess, importance out of all the three that's trying to save Alizard or talk to Alizard. Nothing will come of them in the end. I have a debt of gratitude to you. Obligations I must fulfill, the countless sins clinging on to you, the endless chains constricting you. To sever them is my duty. There is no sin, nor are there any chains. All I have is a curse that plagues my body. Why do you not understand? That's right, we don't. How can we possibly understand? But you know what? You don't understand anything either! So let's work this out with our fists! <laughs> That'll get us somewhere! Nothing will work! How many times have we fought? How many times have you lost? How many times do I have to inflict pain until you are satisfied? You are all fools! A hundred deaths, a thousand beatings, and for what? 
Just so you can vex me with displays of your will? Isn't it obvious? We're going to move forward. Even if it hurts. Even if it's sad. We can't lose sight of reality in favor of illusions. I have been so lonely for so long. That's why I ended up chasing after a mother who wasn't even real. But not anymore. I'm myself. No one and nothing can keep me down. You were the one who taught me that. I have devoured you. Time and time again. And to think you can still spout out those exact same words. Of course. No matter how much you hurt me, it doesn't mean that one moment didn't happen. That one moment is my real reality. The moment you saved me! Besides, it's not just you hurting me every single time. There were moments when I hurt you, too. You had been so lonely for so long. You had lost trust in others for so long. But it's all right now. I am Sekka, and I won't hesitate anymore! Alizard, I'm coming for you! Here we go, man. All right, Sekka. Yeah, I feel like she would be like the second main character in a way. That's why I chose her, you know. I feel like she'll be she'll be fun to use. I'm here. My world is drenched in crimson. Um I think this is fine. All right. Hmm. Maybe we'll play this. Your blood shall sate my thirst. Okay, good. <laughs> no um big bad card yet. Hey, we're doing some damage. Feel my fury. Yep, that's fine too. Um we can do this. Got Sekka back. I'll do this and hey, play one fairy to try to get the yeah, let's try to get the count up. Sucks to be you, Reapers. Okay. Oh yes, I can do this. Right? Fairies are mere playthings. Hey, let's play! You'll do Okay. It's going a lot better for this first part. Ooh. Shoot. Yeah, that one's not good. Oh no. I don't really have any good cards right now. Ooh. Yeah, really, I, I don't have any that good of a card right now. All I can do is just keep on drawing. If I want it to can evolve. Just to put it back into my hand. Okay. Shoot, restoring health. Um... I feel like I want to play you. Or should we do this? Now, we'll save that in case we need to, you know. We'll save that just in case. Okay. Um, I can evolve again if I feel like it. Should I evolve? Just to make a return to my hand? <laughs> or should we just try to, to destroy this guy? I think we should try to destroy that guy. Now I feel like crying. Yeah, that's fine too. 
to the raising of hell. Youch. Oh yeah, that's not good. Hmm. <laughs> we have so much Sekas here. Uh, we can do this now. Then we'll just end our turn. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's just gonna keep on healing up with that. Um, we can do this. Do that. Evolve. We'll destroy you. Should I use this? Let's see, we got two. I don't think I can go to eight. I got two cards here. If I play like all the way up to three, it can go to five, but not eight for the deep wood. I'll just do this instead. Oh nice, I can do this. My sword I won. I won. Okay. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> yes, we're getting it, man. We're getting it. Cry for me. Scream for me. Okay. I'll show you something nice. I have had enough. Mm, tasty little morsel. Yowchies. Okay. Hey, King of Vines. Uh, yeah, maybe I should save. We need like five more if we want to get that bonus effect, right? We should save that. Um, I'll do this. Then we'll play that. Then yeah, I can just, if I want, I can end, I can end my turn or I can save this for later on. No, yeah, I'll just, I'll just end my turn here. I think it's fine. No, this one again. Oh, I have no time to spare. I won't hurt you. <laughs> now a nightmare begins. Ooh, I can still have my blossom out here too. Another king of vines. We have. Oh man. I need better cards. Um, hmm. What do we do here? Um, I can try to destroy you with you. You're joking, sure. Then I can go for the face. Should I go for Sekka again? Dang, I just want to, you know, make the most out of this. I don't know if I should. <laughs> like trying to get cards back. I guess I can play this just to get that gain. Oh wait, I can also... What does this do? Um... What does that play? I feel like I can target someone. Oh, destroy an enemy follower. I'll uh, destroy you. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize we got that effect with the King of Vines. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> here we go. We're doing pretty good here. My wings and heart cry for blood. Intriguing. Let me show you how it's hey, done. Let's play. Oh, they got the bane. Feel my fury. Empowers me. I won't hurt you. Not too much. Oh. Feel my fury. Ouch. Breach of contract, huh? Hmm. Here we go. Goblin war pack. <laughs> hey. He's feeling hungry. I can do this. 
<laughs> Look at my goblins, man. Yes. This one is kind of worrying. Are you the one I was destined to battle? Yep, I was worried about that. Ooh, the spirit. Dang it, I can't do much now. I can play this to draw a card. Blessings of the spring upon you. Oh, I can do this. Then do this. Oh wait, I should have I should have returned this card. Oh well. It's fine. Um I can do this, destroy you. Vanish within my Flames of the night I won! Okay, 19. Um and then I can do this. <laughs> Look at that attack, man. Jeez. Fire. You're joking, surely. I can return her. Ooh. Okay, we can maybe do some good stuff next turn, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Sucks to be you, Reapers. Dang it, the restoring health is annoying. So what does this do? So this one... Give 4-4 four, four and Storm... Oh, it's a Sekka? Hmm. What shall I do here? So yeah, now we got this. Nice. Then yeah, I can evolve. Who do we destroy? I feel like... Oh no, wait, our... Oh no, we're not looking too good here too. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, we're not looking too good here too. I can make a return. Like destroy you. Then make it return with the Phantom Bloom. My life ends, but my will yeah, there we go. Look at that. Then we can play that. Play that. I can do both. If I feel like it. Hmm. And then we can do this too. How much damage can we do in one turn? Let's see, we can do a 13 damage. 13. Oh, let me do this. Did we win? Oh my gosh, I think we won. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, Seka, good job. First try too. Hey, there we go. I thought I would have a hard time in this battle. But Seka pulled through here. Nice. No one messes with the nine-tailed fox. Wow. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. You will not understand me. You will not comprehend. I could have also evolved too. I forgot about that, but we're yeah, we we won. Think your flames can even singe me? Yeah, you look plenty heated up to me. Find Foxfire, Milaku. This cannot stop me. Fly, Foxfire, Shiratori. Dang, she's going all out. Ooh. Uh, what? I never oh. understand you. 
and you might not understand me. That doesn't mean it's okay to keep things the way they are. No matter how many times you say no, no matter how many times you turn away, I'll head straight back towards your way. I owe you my life. I can't just stand by and do nothing when you need help. I was going to die. I definitely would have died. But I didn't. Because you changed that destiny. I owe it to you, Alizard. Foxfire! Mutsugoto! Naraku! Yagurama! Kulam! Dang. Dude, this is the most pain Alizard I've that I've seen from. I know. Things are hard. I know. Moving forward can be painful. But if we stop, it's over. Let us dance while we can, before the curtain falls. Fate my thirst! Blood hearts! We still cannot reach him. He doesn't believe in us. But that's fine. I don't mind. Alizard, hit me with all you've got! Take it all out on me! Nonsense! My solitude is a never-ending purgatory! What can you possibly do? I can be with you. I can share your pain. We can move forward together. And that's why... Expectations lead to disappointment. Hope leads to regret. Stop trying to deceive me! Dude, for real, Alizard, man. He's been so... He's still, like, such a pessimist, but, you know... It's understandable because of after after all he's been through. It's understandable, but it's just hard to really convince him, man. And that's why I'm going to erase your loneliness! Vanish! Foxfire! Kokasai! <laughs> why? Hundreds of times. Over thousands of times. We have fought. Each time I had drank your blood and sated my body, not once have I been brought to my knees. Mm. Until now, will that give him hope? So why? How? Why do? Yo, man, dude, he's on his knees. There is no meaning in asking why. The reality is right before you. No reason exists in the injustice of the world. That's the same for luck and good fortune. That is why we call them miracles. <laughs> I don't remember each one, but I'm sure you've beaten me every time up until now. That made you careless, and you never know how a fight will turn out. If we die again, and we repeat the cycle, we might forget everything and start over. But I promise, we will be here again. It happened once. It can happen again. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what a ridiculous bunch. Oh. Covered in scars. Covered in dirt. Just about as much worth as dust. Yet, in spite of that, you all look like beacons of light. Dang, here we go. He's got the hope. He can see hope in, in us. We're the beacons of light. <laughs> Don't you know dust reflects light? By themselves, they are helplessly tossed by the wind. But accumulate together. And even dust can add up in weight. I'm not just going to drift in the air. I'll fly. I'll keep flying until I hit the edge of this world. <sighs> yes, it has been so long since I last caught this heated up. The heat of hope. <laughs> How repugnant. But it appears I have no other choice. Thank you. Here, on my knees, I admit defeat. Dang. <laughs> wow. After all this time, man. Yeah, this whole thing was just... Like, so far, what? It took, like, <laughs> over 10 chapters just to convince him? Dang, man. A beacon of hope. Filled with renewed hope at reaching a future not yet known, Alizar reveals to the others that the entity they call the Lord of Darkness is little more than a curse, one that lies in wait for someone powerful enough to defeat it. Its goal? To lay claim to the victor's body and possess it as its new vessel. So is Orisa going to be here now? To think, there is still a future I have yet to see. Wow. They, that, that is big, man. Just hearing that from him. You know, because I, you know, I feel like he've seen it. he's seen everything, but he hasn't seen this yet. Maybe. I can still go on. But dude, if this fails, 
<laughs> that, that's that's gonna bring him down so much. <laughs> Go on. We've already went on. Yeah. This is going to be a new start. Indeed. So, Alizarin, first tell us what you know. Of course. I will tell you everything I know. Hmm. From your aura, I thought I could imagine the paths you have taken, but... I can see why you'd be driven to drown yourself in bloodshots. It sounds like you really have tried everything. Hmm. That is not exactly true. For now, I do not know what lies ahead of this path. Wiping out the werewolves doesn't help, nor does getting them on our side. Same with the Dragonu clan and the Yokai. And no matter how we interfere with Ninetales, or if we eliminate the spooky blade, nothing changes. Most of all, we cannot win against the Lord of Darkness, despite all of our efforts. Correct. The Lord of Darkness is likely not even life itself. Its goal is to be defeated, to seek someone powerful enough to kill it, just so that it may take over their body. So by winning, we would only be doing exactly what it wants. What a jerk. It is my view that we have no choice but to venture into new paths. <sighs> that means dealing with the Lord of Darkness. From what Alizard has said, I guess we have tried everything except defeating the Lord of Darkness. It's decided then. Let's go and check this guy out. No. Huh? There is just one thing I have not tried. Or, more precisely, something I have not been able to try. What is it? The mysterious woman in white. Do you remember? I don't think they've... Well, no, they have met Flores. I don't know about Kagero. I don't remember if Kagero did, but I know Seka and Drock did. Hmm? Oh, her! I remember her. She was really weird. Her name is Flores. She has appeared on occasion and given me strange speeches. She is the only one I have not been able to influence. Now that I think of it, she is beyond suspicious. It might be worth finding her. I'm sure she'll pop up because, you know, she's, uh, <laughs> she's pretty much watching us probably right now. But she might not talk to us even if we find her. Then we beat it out of her. <laughs> Jeez. You're so violent. But I'm sure you know that's not going to work. Yeah. She's not normal. She said to me that my loops were much smaller than hers. Out of choices, yep. I have fought her several times. However, I remember nothing of what happened after. <laughs> what a pain. May I ask something? Hmm? What is it? The woman you are speaking of. Who was that? That woman! The weirdo! Yeah, Kagero has not met him, met her. She talked like she knew everything. Looked down on us like trash. My apologies. I do not recall a woman like that. Huh? Are you kidding me? She's not someone you can forget. Anyways, we have to decide what we're going to do. Do we go after her? Or the Lord of Darkness? She creeps me out. We might be able to get somewhere with the Lord of Darkness. We should at least try, don't you think? When you say try, you mean get killed, right? Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> For sure. That's true. In that case, <clears throat> something wrong, Alizard? I have thought of something. It is risky, and my memory may be playing tricks on me. But most importantly, this is a gamble we can only take once. Will you still agree to help me? Why once? I mean, if we're in a infinite loop... Don't we have, like, infinite tries? Huh? That's not how you're supposed to ask, buddy. Don't ask us to help. Tell us to help. That's what we're here for. Yeah, what is this once-a-time once thing? Yeah, I trust you. So trust me too, okay? In this crucial moment, I can ask for nothing more. You have my gratitude. I would like to discuss my plan, but we never know where there may be ears. I fear if I voice my plan, it could ruin everything. And so I will keep it to myself. I need all of you to trust me. We'll follow your lead. Let the dice fall where they will. Exactly. We'll leave it to you. Thank you. In that case, could the two of you go on ahead? Where do you want us to go, buddy? The tower. The base of the tower. Where the Lord of Darkness slumbers. That is where we will take our gamble. I'm just wondering why it's just, you know, only one chance at this. I don't understand. 
I mean, like, we're fine with dying, right? We've done a lot of that already. Uh, Flow S. Ooh, Bloodcraft, Alozard. Second Drock and Alozard arrive at the tower, the resting place of the Lord of Darkness. Flow S, who has woken from her sleep, appears before them. Hmm. If she woken up, that means she hasn't seen what we did, right? I'm not sure. Alright. Alozard. The last one to use. I have not used him yet in this story, but yep, there's a deck. The same as before. Here we go. Flow S. Oh. Created by the Lord of Darkness, such as a land of claws, fangs, and strife. A land where shadows shout all. Um, mirrored by countless rivers of blood. Felsar, the world's end. The air hangs pungent with the scent of despair. In this desolate land sits a dark tower, jutting out of the earth like a rusty nail. Spiraling around, it is the scent of blood, a residue of defeat. It grounds, its grounds are that of a uh, preordained past, repeated history, and foul destiny. But there are those who stand resolute, daring to tread its grounds once again. The breath on their lips is hot, and their eyes glisten with hope. Bolstered by unwavering determination and immeasurable bravery, they fix their eyes firmly on the future. The time for these chosen ones to rise up and bear their fangs is nigh. Sure doesn't feel like it's my first time here. I faintly remember it too. We've been here before. We entered the tower, challenged the Lord of Darkness, and lost every time. I can hear your voice trembling, Foxy. I wonder if these were the guys that... I remember at the beginning of this whole story, right? There was like people walking into the Lord of Darkness tower. But like we only heard a voice. And then we saw like Arisa in her original art. I don't like getting eaten, alright? Yeah, I'd rather be the one doing the eating. Isn't that right, Alizard? <laughs> No doubt. Are you ready? Yes. My sword thirsts for blood. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, there's Flo S. <sighs> oh my. You're still going at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> well, look who it is. You're certainly taking your time. I thought I'd take a nap and the next cycle would have begun by the time I awoke. Flo S. Yep. That's me. Loess, you're one and only. I suppose you're about to begin your battle with Mr. Darkness. Oh, how I wish you good luck. No, I think we're about to fight you. I wonder whose body Icy will inhabit this time. <gasps> Icy! Not that it matters who. So wait. Oh, do you think Aishilindrig has Orisa's body? And then when that body... So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this whole thing is a uh, reveal from the, like, Velsar is reveal in the future. Hmm. Dang, dude, that's that's a big, already a big thing. So Icy is controlling Orisa. Uh. Off you go, boys and girls. I hope there is a good ending waiting for you. Let me tell you one thing. Hmm. Why, of course. As much as you like. In the words of a friend of mine, you get on my nerves. Oh. Do not be mistaken. Oh my. The one we have come to take down is not the Lord of Darkness. It is you, Flores. Ooh, my, my. You wish to dance with me? What is she like in battle? We've never seen any combats with her. I know Alizard did, but let's see how this goes. But what's it going to change, Alizard? You can't possibly hope to keep up with me. I'm sure the two behind you know that too. I observe everything in this world. The outcome of this waltz is as clear as day. Yeah, out, out of everyone here, even compared to Alizard, like, she knows everything, you know? Al Alizard was able to win against these guys because he remembers their moves and stuff, but Flo S is on a different level. Dancing here may be a first, but the outcome will not change. Ha! Maybe you know everything, but that doesn't mean you understand everything. Ooh. You don't understand a thing about us! What happened to... what happened to Kagero? <laughs> I'm still a bit drowsy, 
So why not? I could use some exercise to wake up. Ooh. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a little fun here. I will show you a little, just a itsy bitsy piece of my power. I am excited, man. Realize your foolishness, inhabitants of Velsar. Floes, how arrogant. I'm just speaking in a manner befitting of my power, Alizar. You are a fool. So helplessly foolish and adorably weak. Let's see you squirm beneath my foot. You are correct. Indeed, we are simple fools, and we are weak. However, that is exactly why we are going to charge forward with all we have got. Prepare yourself, Lois. I love this man. Like, we're now getting back into the whole main story. Like, you know, back from Reveal. Icy was mentioned. Ishilindrig was here. Oh, this is exciting, man. I want to see how this plays out. Prepare yourself, Floes. Now, now, how would you like to end? Hmm. Now, what do we do here? Uh, put those two away. Oh my gosh, you should go back into the deck, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh, that was a ah. Uh, we got we got another copy, right? So maybe it's not too bad. <laughs> I'm just so disappointed by that. That we drew this. What does fate have in store for you? Yeah, she's portal craft. Oh wow, we just got vengeance right away. That means we can do this. Right? No, that's for wrath. Um We'll just play this, I guess. I got no other card. Okay. I can use my Vampire of Calamity. Should I play this? I'm not sure, man. Hmm. Yeah, I think I drew a bad hand here. I drew a bad hand. Oh, Mystic Ring. Oh shoot, I should have destroyed that guy, I forgot. Oh well. My oh my, oh my oh my. <laughs> my oh my. I feel like I just want to res reset this battle, because... This wasn't that good. Of the, you know, first few turns, it was really bad. I do want to replay this this battle. Okay. All right. Um, we'll have to do this. Go and evolve. I have had enough. And now, lovely evening. What is it you desire? Oh man. Well, you know, I'll, I'll try my best still. I just don't think I can win this. Hmm. Um. I can do this. I'll save that Scarlet for later on. Okay. Is no toy. I'll have you know. This is no toy. I'll have you know. That's just how it is, isn't it? Keep me entertained, won't you? Your joke. All right, draw. Surely. Oh man, there's the sedu seductress again. <laughs> oh man. Um, I mean, the best thing I can do right now is play this. I'll slice you to ribbons. My oh my. Oh, Paradigm. You can struggle all you like, darling. That's not good. I'm falling apart? Okay. Um, we got the Dark Contract. 
We can draw more to see. Or if I want to be safe about it, I can do this, destroy that. Let's do this. Let's be safe about this. Okay. Yeah, let's be safe about this. Whoa, I'm, actually flying. I'm not in a hurry right now. I wish we began with Aluzard. <laughs> we don't have Aluzard here. Uh, oh, we got Vite. Let me uh, do this first. And so our pact is forged. Ooh. And we got Vania too. I feel like I want to play Vania first. I know I can do maybe Vite. Hmm. Uh, let me. I guess I'll, maybe it's fine. Then we'll do this. Deal four damage. Can do it on you. Intriguing. Oh, let me join too. I think I'll try to keep him alive because of that effect that we can Why maybe so do. Afraid? I can do this too if I want, but I also want to restore health if possible. Uh, what do I do? Uh, you know what? Let me do a dark contract. And so our pact is oh yes, Alozard is here now. I guess it's fine to do one of this. Hey. All right, we're doing good. Okay, I was worried at first, but I think I got this. <laughs> at least I, I think I do. Go ahead. Try these girls out. Yeah, look at this. It's not bad now. We got this battle. Oh come on! Ooh, we even got Rouge Vampire. Like, yeah, we got this, man. Hmm. I can deal four damage to an enemy. I can do it at you. Eight to the face. Right? Hmm. Um. Yeah, we got this, man. We won. Yeah, I was worried at first, but now nah, we got this. <laughs> we won. Hey, <laughs> we win. Let's go and uh, I guess we'll play you Obey the darkness. and summon you, you or evolve you. I mean, the darkness is my friend. then we'll play the bats. Cause why not? Be Hey. A lot of oh my's, my gosh, from Flo S. That's her favorite word. <laughs> Alright. Everything is meaningless. <laughs> what? No. No, it's it's meaningful now. Sage my thirst. Blood arts! Not bad. <laughs> well, I see why you had the confidence to challenge me. Your swordsmanship has never, never been better. Aren't you glad, Alizard? It seems like your hesitations are all gone now. You just love the sound of your own voice, don't you? <laughs> you haven't ate the seer stone. You could have, little snapdragon. I'm going to fill my stomach with you. I don't want to spoil the main meal. Well, you certainly seem determined to do so. What a magnificent punch, Drock. Vanish! Foxfire! Hokusai! And you too, little Foxglove. Oh, Sekka, look at how brave you have gotten. 
Everyone's so prepared to challenge me. Maybe I should have watched this cycle more closely after all. I'm dying to know what made all of you stronger and so overly confident. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing this is a gamble. Like the one time thing because, you know, Flo West, she can't be, you know, repeated, I guess. Getting stronger? Good. Stand resolute. That's nice. Challenge me? Hmm. Not wrong, I suppose. But none of it means a thing. No matter how strong or resolute you become, no matter how you challenge me, oblivious, incompetent, hey. powerless, meaningless, worthless, useless, futile, imprudent, your actions result in nothing. <laughs> She's sounding like Alizard now. Oh dear, don't be so upset. I was only kidding. You know, this time, the three of you might just have what it takes. You may be strong enough to defeat the Lord of Darkness. Why not give it a try? No guarantees, though. You do not look concerned. Hmm? Why, of course. This is nothing but child's play to me. If you choose to stop now, I'll consider forgiving you. I'll have you know I'm more benevolent than you think. Hey, Elazar. You have fought her before, right? Indeed. <laughs> Do you get it now, too, little Snapdragon? How pointless this... Is uh, Kagura about to step in? I get exactly how you oh, felt no. about this lady. <laughs> yeah, you're super annoying! Oh, dear. Floes, we will not back down. We will open up a new path! Hmm. Alrighty. Do what you will. Let's get back to work, shall we? Don't worry. I promise I'll erase each of your memories of this when we're done. Oh no. Oh shoot. If she does that, then we're back to square one. Wow. Almost done, guys. Uh, the uh, the, gl the glitters. A glittering grain of, of sand. Um, though overwhelmed by Floes's power, it's like a Drock and Alizard fight bravely on. Where the heck is Kagero? I feel like Kagero, they, they plan him to be like a secret weapon or something. Anyways, same deck. Is this battle gonna be a bit different? Like, you know, if, you know, like, um, in the other previous battles, like, a long time ago, they would have like special conditions and rules for us. I wonder if this will be it in this battle. <laughs> You're wide open, you know. Drock. Like, do we get Drock and Sekka to play along with uh, Alizard's deck? And yeah, once again, where the heck is Kagero, man? <laughs> Drop that! Oh, how scary! What brilliant teamwork! Wonderful. Find! Foxfire! Miwaku! Okay, okay. I've already seen that one. But it's no big deal, even if I hadn't seen it before. Boas, you look bored. Very. I almost yawned, in fact. Oh, hold on. <sighs> I just did. No surprise. This reminds me of myself. Oh my. So you're saying we're the same? It is impossible for others to understand me. That is what you are thinking, is it not? <laughs> it is simple fact that I'm on a different level from the rest of you. I don't care! It doesn't matter! That doesn't scare us one bit. Strange. Normally, all of you would have broken down and given up by now. Maybe you have something up your sleeves? Kagero. Who knows? My, my, how disappointing. Against me, you can't afford the luxury of hiding your power. Please don't tell me you're not aware of it yet. I thought you'd be smarter and figure out what you're up against by now. Loneliness. That is what is plaguing you. Oh, are you trying to empathize with me? I request you don't. I'm different from you. 
absolutely and entirely different in scale, in importance, and in every other way imaginable. What you're looking at isn't me. What you're listening to isn't me. I'm impossible for you to comprehend. It's impossible for you, which is why you repeat the cycles over and over. You speak as if you are the queen of the world. A queen? That doesn't even equate to my fingertips. If you cannot handle the Lord of Darkness, what makes you think you could have even the slightest chance against me? Certainly. What you say makes perfect sense. It is impossible for us to have a chance against you. But the impossible happens. It has happened, Floes. It was no coincidence. It was a miracle. And thus, I swear by my sword, by this blade, it will pierce your guard! Dude, where the heck is Kagero, man? I know I've been saying it a bunch of times now, but I want to see this plan, like, go through. <laughs> I'm impatient. <laughs> I'm excited. This is no coincidence. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There is no meaning to be found here. Uh, put all that away. Hmm. Oh. Hey, nice. Okay, this is one of those special battles. And she has 30 defense. Strike. If this follower has at least 3 defense, draw a card. Then if this follower has at least 5 defense, subtract 1 from the cost of 3 random cards in your hand. Then if this follower has at least 7 defense, deals 7 damage to all enemies and changes followers at defense to 3. Oh, okay, so they're immune. Uh, fanfare, give uh, plus one defense to another allied follower and restore defense to your leader. You will see our number of cards played this turn. Okay, at the start of your opponent's turn, if this follower has ward, remove it. Whenever you play a follower, return this card to your hand. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I see. You play a card. Then you play Sekka, give Drock the defense. Got it. Okay. Um, I mean, let's try our best here. Wait, this one says a follower though, right? Um, whenever you play a follower, I don't have a follower right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have a follower right now. What does fate have in store for you? Oh, shoot. I can play Vania if I want. Hmm. Incinerate! Shut it! Obey the darkness! Then I can play Sekka, give it to you. I'll um, end my turn. We'll save that gift for Bloodkin later. You'll find gizmos like this every millennium. Hmm. Okay, what do we do here? Um. Hmm. I think we should have Sekka return to the hand first. We'll do maybe this. I hope it's fine. Then yeah, we gotta play another card again. Oh my gosh, two of my Venias. Obey the darkness. We gotta do. Shoot. I don't like that. Nothing personal, but burn. Shut it. Yeah, I don't like that. my turn but can they evolve they can't evolve right actually I don't even know I mean we'll find out when it's once I get there hmm I can attack you hold on and then we can do this I won't hurt you too much 
Um, let's play some more of these cards. Um, maybe we'll do this. Okay. Then yeah, we can do this. Or should I play this first? Get that to you. Shut it. I'll pummel you. Well, I knew something. I hope that was okay. Now we got Vites here. If I can evolve Drop, that will be really good. Whatever shall I do with you? Ah, the design fault lies with you. Breach of contract. Okay. Hey, we got Alizard here too. Incinerate! Let me do this. The next I don't like that. <laughs> that card. Um... I mean, if I want... Nah... Alizard, go in, my dude. I am a prisoner of this world's winds. Not anymore, dude. You're not a prisoner anymore. Don't feel down. Um, we'll put maybe you back. I don't need that card right now. Ooh, Scarlet Vampire might be good for next turn. And then, what do we do here? Maybe sacrifice one of this. So that we can play this and then Sekka. Right? So play this. And then Sekka. So yeah, can we we can evolve him, okay. So on seven defense. Oh, look at that. It goes back down to three. Burn and scatter like shut it! Oh wait, it doesn't increase. I thought it increases. Shoot. My bad. I thought wrong. I'll you. Such a good guinea pig. Um I won't hurt you. Too much. Nothing personal, but burn! Oh, I, I could do that too. Yeah, just play Sekka. Or I mean, play a card, then play Sekka, then play another card, then play Sekka. I didn't think about that. Hmm, okay. That's something I'll rem try to remember. Next time. My, oh my. At least we uh, reduce the cost. I'm here, just like I said in my tip-off note. Another pointless path. Breach of contract, huh? Yeah, we'll be fine. We can restore health again whenever we want. That's just how it is, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, so we can do this where we uh destroy you. And then if I want, to can play Sekka, do that. Shut it. Then attack all. That should destroy everyone here, right? Let me just attack with my bat first. My, oh Shut it. My. Hey. Please deal responsibly. We get the vengeance too. <laughs> nice. My, oh my. Wow, she's down to 11. Hey, we're doing good now. We got this. I think we got this for real. You're joking. Sure. I fire away in the name of oh, reveal. She got reveal cards and Lucifer here. You can struggle all you like, darling. Blast them all the smithereens. Move out. Annihilate Ooh. them. 
<laughs> Elizard is here. This world's whims. Um, yeah, we can just do this. Where? Do that. Play you. Allow me to bestow a crimson kiss. And then we can play Seca again. Nothing personal, but burn. Melt under my touch. Nice. I can play Scarlet Vampire, then Drock, and just win this. Let's do it. I'll slice you to ribbons. My You're not getting away. Oh wait. My oh, she still has. Oops. No, she's still up. But we're st we still have a lot of defense. No, yeah, we can win next turn. I think we can win next turn. Drock can finish this off. Yeah, Drock got this. Okay, good. I thought it would banish Aluzard. But it doesn't matter, we win. Yeah, we win, man. Like... Hey. Yeah, this, at least use Aluzard at least once, you know? Let's have him shine for a bit. Hey. Even though it doesn't do much with him right now, I just want him to shine for a bit. Okay, we'll play, I guess, you. I won't hurt you. Not too much. Yeah, Drock will be the one to win this. Nothing personal, but first. Hey, so we win, right? We won. How could this happen? And then Kagero comes in. Does the arts of rejuvenation, maybe? <laughs> That'll be kind of weird. Everything is meaningless. I wonder if, like, Kagero not meeting Floes means something, but the thing is, Floes knows about Kagero, right? I'm not sure what Kagero can do that might be hidden from Floes. I don't know. We'll see. Is this all you have? You talk too much! Let me plug your mouth with my fist! Do you want me to crush it with my teeth? I will take that as a no. Huh? I see you. I'm starting to hate you more and more! <laughs> your Drak is getting really angry. Don't worry. I promise I won't bite. You have tremendous power. And you have not shown your full strength yet. Oh? Would you like that? You're making me mad! Just bring it on! Okie dokie. Just a tad bit then. Dang. Don't you see there's no way your sword could possibly scratch me? I'm way stronger than you. I know everything about the each of you. I know how you cry, how you suffer. I know absolutely everything. Shall we bring an end to this game? You must be tired of playing by now. Why don't you all take a break? <laughs> How sweet and adorable. Like babies on their backs. Arms and legs flailing about in futility. Please disappear and start all over again. You hear that? Yeah. My sword is not broken yet. Hey, I can do just one more blow at full force. Hmm. Is Kagero inside his sword? Because you know how Kagero is a, a sword spirit. I'm guessing Kagero is inside Alozard's sword. Me too. How do you want to go about it, Alozard? We could try a distraction. No, to borrow your words, we are going to smash her head on. <clears throat> <laughs> Sounds good. I, I like, like it. it. <laughs> Come on, let's get serious. I'm going to go all in. I'll smash that conceited smirk right off your face. Yes, yes, I already know what you're going to do. Huh? The same trajectory, the same amount of force. You won't do. Out of the way, little snapdragon. You back off! This is the path we've decided on! My, my, 
little foxglove. You're forgetting that this is my world. It's up to me whether or not a path even exists. <laughs> Let's draw the curtains on this stage, shall we? Indeed. It is time to end the cycles. My, my. Yap all you want. But sadly, you're just all bark and no bite. You're just puppets on a stage, not realizing that the play has already ended. Shut up! Quit looking down on us! This is a fight, and there's no winner or loser in a fight till we're done. You hear me? You don't know everything. You haven't seen everything. We've already created a miracle. We're going to smash you, blast you, and move forward. <laughs> and for what? Pathetic. You're already at your limits. Powerless, meaningless, worthless, useless, futile, imprudent. Your actions result in nothing. <laughs> she really likes to say those words in that in that order. That's what she said before, right? I told you to shut it, lady. We won't lose. The outcome is already decided. Nothing's been decided! Isn't that right? Correct! Finally, I have seen the range of your power. All that is left for me to do is to trust my blade. Sage the thirst of my sword! Prepare yourself! Kagero, are you in there? Oh, so that's what you were after. You wanted to see the extent of my power. I can see why you would be interested in me, but sadly, that wish isn't going to happen. As I've said, I'll wipe your memories of this. It's our one shot, though. Gotta make it count. Farewell, you lovely fools. This is the end. Return once more to the beginning. Are you ready, Flores? I will show you the unknown. You're a fool up to the very end. Everything dances in the palm of my hand. There is nothing I haven't seen. Until now. Stored in Magic Clash, their energy explodes, tearing and bursting into brilliant sparks. The sparks dance and blur together in a dazzling, blinding light, a manifestation of pure power, like a divine radiance which will wipe the world clean. The immense power of the magic unleash, enough to overwhelm any mere mortal, exact its toll on Elizard's blade. Unable to withstand this tremendous energy, fractures run through the sword before shattering it into countless tiny fragments. So the sword got destroyed. Okay. You have lost. Now do you see? This world cannot be changed. I know. <gasps> Ooh, but in place of Alizard's sword, a new blade emerges. That's Kagero's sword. It? A beautiful, shining blade of hope, but the blade does not belong to Alizard. It is a blade with its own will, its own volition, its own destiny. A blade they call... Kagero. Entwining paths of good and evil. Finally. <laughs> Except my blade. He's finally here. Ultimate technique, art of rejuvenation. Dang, I just saw Floessa's face. She looks like disturbed. Kagero steps forward by foot, um, his foot pressing firmly on the path they all believe in. His blade slices through the air once, twice. The first slash aims to cut down their obstacle, the second to cut a open path to the future they believe in. I told you that I would show you the unknown, something you have not seen, and that is Kagero. Kagero is the only one you have not watched. Am I right, Flores? Hmm. I guess, yeah, you know. I mean, the thing is, I thought... I thought, the thing is, um, wasn't there a, like a cutscene where Flores talked about Kagero? Or was it Tsukikage? I don't know. I guess the, uh, that was some foreshadowing earlier. Yeah, that was some foreshadowing earlier where uh, Kagero did not know about Flo S. 
so that gave an advantage. I don't know, the thing is, I thought maybe Floessa would know about Kagero. Hmm. The winged boy will forever be bound to the earth. The little fox will forever be prey. And you will forever wander. So Kagero is a new, like, I guess, key character here. Dang, wow. But of course, the tides of fate can't be diverted. So don't be too hard on yourself. All right? It is why I have not met you, the factor that our plan had relied upon. Man, such a good plan. My techniques remain secret, the only thing unprecedented in the battles against you. I don't know, I feel like I have to look back because I thought maybe she acknowledged Kagero, but it could be just only Tsukikage. I mean, if, if so, like, you know, if she really didn't acknowledge Kagero, then I guess this makes sense. But yeah, I just don't remember that well. Where have you been hiding? Dang, okay. I don't know, it's just... I mean, you guys will probably know more than me, but as of me recording this at the moment, I don't remember if she did, did acknowledge Kagero. I think it might have been only Tsukikage. I am a vengeful spirit that inhabits swords. Just now, I had inhabited Alizar's sword. All of you were waiting for this moment all along? No, that is not correct. This kid and I didn't know a thing. They just trusted as much as we were trusted. <laughs> Together, we could achieve something none of us could achieve alone, Loess. This is not coincidence. This is what we call a miracle. <laughs> Just so you know, this doesn't hurt me one bit. There's only one way to kill me. But it was not without meaning, correct? <laughs> Indeed, very well. All of you banding together has managed to pierce my guard. I apologize. Neither you or this world was futile and meaningless. The fact of which has been proved in this very instance. Well then, Floes, will you tell us everything about this world, of Velsa? Surely, but Alizard, what I'll speak of is not Belsar. But Ravel. What's that supposed to mean? Seriously? We have come this far for riddles? There is no riddle. It is a simple story. This world you call Velsar is not Velsar. It's called Ravel. <gasps> we all we were all originally cowboys. <laughs> a long, long time ago, before the Lord of Darkness came into being. The world was one of whirling sandstorms and ceaseless plumes of smoke. The world was called... Yeah, this was the, the scene. Like, I don't know if you guys remember that one um, art that I was talking about where I thought maybe this was Reveil. I thought it was this scene here. But like, in the, in the Velsar version, it was like, destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, that one background art. Like, yeah, that over there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go finish this off. Um, back to the land of bullets. Floes tells the group that long ago, before the Lord of Darkness existed, Valsar was once known as Ravel. With an imminent crisis approaching their world, Ravel was first given a trial to overcome. Valsar is the result of their future, or f failure. Hmm. So I'm wondering, yeah, with... Us seeing Arisa, I'm guessing she's the she's the Lord of Darkness, right? With Arisa, um, yeah, I guess um, I see. If like the whole thing is true with the Lord of Darkness, where they take over the next body when they're defeated, I'm guessing right now I see is taking taking over Arisa's body. But yeah, let's go finish this off, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's see how this ends. In the beginning of this world. There was no life, no color, no smell, no sound. Hey, the music Nothing man. Nothing but a single stone, which tumbled in the void. That's the reveal music. The god who descended onto the world split itself into three demigods, titans that will stand watch over creation, force, order, prosperity. Under their watch, life developed in support 
and in opposition. And Reveil, a land of gunfire and magic was born. However, a crisis descended upon Reveil. A crisis of life and death in the name of Serenity. Serenity? Isn't that Nexus? Hmm. The Nexus... I forgot, did Nexus appear in the Reveil story? I don't remember. It had to be overcome. It had to be vanquished. And to do so, the world of Reveil had to gain strength. Thus a trial was given to the world. To make choices. To change fate. To find the truth. But the world failed. No matter what was done or what happened, no one could reach the truth. Wrong choices were made. Paths of failure and defeat were chosen. And the result of it all was Velsar. Hmm. Velsar. A land of Yeah, that, that is it. I'm guessing. And strife, that one tower? Created by the Lord of Darkness. Maybe. Velsar is the ruins of Reveil. The outcome of choices that should not have been made. And so, I didn't feel there was much meaning in observing this world. Because the mistakes had already been made. Whatever happens now has no impact on the trial, or so I thought. A miracle. It's such a cheap, simple word that trips off the tongue. But one has definitely happened. I was wrong about Velsar. About all of you. I see. I was under the assumption that I was repeating cycles in Velsar, but... Make a circle with your thumb and forefinger. That's the cycle you're currently stuck in. Now make a circle with your arms. That's the cycle I travel in. Yeah, I never really thought, I mean, you know, before we got to this last part, you know, before I began this last part of the story, I, I thought that, you know, at the beginning, I thought maybe Reveal and Velsa were two different worlds, but nope, they're the same. Reveal and Velsa. They are mutually repeating over and over. Yep, you got it. If mistakes happen in Reveil, it becomes Velsar. And if Velsar is destroyed, it returns once more to Reveil? <laughs> How curious. I wonder why. Why you? Why are we the ones who remember the cycles? Yeah, that's a... I wonder that too. I do wonder that too. The perception of time, maybe. You see, inhabitants of Reveil live short lives. But the life in Velsar is almost eternal. Having lived for so long, you've become sensitive to the flow of time. Okay. Are there others who have noticed the cycles? As far as I'm concerned, no. Even if others had the ability, it's an entirely different matter what they do with it. Quite frankly, the four of you are the destined ones. Interesting. <laughs> destined? You can't be serious. Why, I'm being honest. You're special, little foxglove. However, if your words are true, what can we do? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? The moment Reveil has turned into Velsar means it's already too... Hey. What's wrong, Drock? Sorry to interrupt your rambles, but I don't get it. Have you not been listening? I was listening! <laughs> so basically, what is going on now? There's a crisis upon this world. You have to become strong to overcome it. And to become strong, you need to pass a trial, but Reveil cannot overcome the trial. That's why Velsar is born. Yeah? What? You don't get it? What she's saying is... No, that's not what I don't get. I don't understand why we're hesitating. There's only one thing we need to do, right? We'll go to Reveil and pass the trial. But how do we time travel? Unless we had the help of Loess here. That's all we have to do, right? Uh, <laughs> it's such a genius idea, you're all speechless. I mean, it's just going back in time. How do we do that? Drock, that is impossible to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? There are two reasons. One, we cannot return to the past. Yep. Two, if we were to clear the trial, Velsar would cease to exist. I also thought about that too. You know, because of Reveil failing, Velsar is born. But if Reveil succeeds, that means, and you know, we're not sure about the if these guys will exist in the future. Cease to exist? Velsar is the result of Reveil's failure. 
Even if you could return to the past and clear the trial, then Reveil would not have failed, meaning Velsa would not be born. And they were, they would never exist, maybe. Who knows what will happen to us? We'll probably disappear too. Mm. <sighs> Come on, so what? I'll keep flying. Drunk. We've already moved forward, started on a new path. We can't turn back now. We'll disappear. Well, isn't that great? A hell of a lot better than going around repeating the same loop forever. I agree. <laughs> that is a really good point, you know. Would you would you rather rather live this for the rest of your lives or maybe at least disappear in be at peace, you know? Right? Idiot. <laughs> you have impressed me. I am willing to take that bet. However, how do we get to the past? Uh Flores? Who knows? Why don't we try something we haven't tried yet? Like this Lord of Darkness. There is no need for that. Yeah, Flo S can do maybe help out. Huh? I can't believe it. You're like sand oh. spilling out from my grasp. Here, so bat. small and each one glittering. There is a way to return to the past. You just have to use my power. Yep. What are you really? It's a secret. For now at least. And don't worry about Velsar disappearing if you do succeed. What is that supposed to mean? I guess um, she'll try her best, or she'll try to keep Velsar around, even though if her veil succeeds. However, do you mean? I cannot tell you how, but it may not be impossible to break the link between Reveil and Velsar. Hmm. I mean, that does also give them hope too, like motivation maybe. Ha! All the more reason we don't need to hesitate. Just once. I can only do this once. There'll not be a second time. Understand that this is a true miracle. Thank you. We will save this world. Trials and crises. I don't get it, but we'll beat them all. That's right. I'm not scared. As a blade, it is my duty to cut through the way ahead. Very well. Those chosen by fate. No, those that have risen up and won against fate. Go. The destiny of a world stuck in endless mistakes, despairs, and impossibilities is now in your hands. Dang. Dude, this is crazy, man. And then the final loop. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't wait to see what that is and how this goes. So they're going back to the past. They're going to interact with the people in Reveal. Bunny and Baron, uh, Miser, Selena, um... Elgano. And then I wonder how they're going to... I don't know, fix everything. You know, I was kind of hoping to meet the, the Lord of Darkness. But I guess we are, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Floes was the, the main villain for for this, I guess. But yeah, guys. um, That was it for this video, man. That was Entropy's Abyss. Reconclusion. The final loop, I am... Probably the most excited for out of all these stories so far because I would say this whole thing, the whole final loop story, has been really intriguing. You know, like I thought the previous stories were really good too, but this one really tops pretty much all these stories before. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I like the concept of like, I guess anything that feels complicated that I can understand. I guess I like that. Um, and with the whole time looping thing. Like, it's been teased. It's been, um... You know, I guess, yeah, with the whole thing with face Trigger here. Like, it's been teased on, like, it's been looping. There's, like, some kind of loop going on. And Entropy's Abyss just explains that. But yeah, even though with the characters here in the, you know, in the Entropy's Abyss, even though I, li I like them less than face Trigger, I do like the whole lore aspect of Entropy's Abyss. With the loops, with the world, and what happened, that Velsar is the result of the failures of Reveal. I like that. I think it's really cool. And, you know, at first it seems like two different worlds, but they're actually connected. And yeah, that's really interesting to see. Yeah. But yeah, that was it for now, guys. That was Entropy's Abyss. Reconclusion. Next time, <laughs> we'll be doing the final loop, which um, I think has a lot of chapters to it, right? I think this one, I remember. There was so much chapters. Dang, 28. That's the most. 
if I want, I can try... I might either do like maybe seven chapters per video so that we can finish in four videos or maybe I can do... Like if seven is too long again, I can do um four chapters per video and we can finish in in seven. Yeah, we can finish in seven videos. Or maybe I can do something else. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I can do... Maybe six instead. Yeah, six. No, no, like like five. No, no, yeah, six. We'll do us. We can maybe do six chapters per video to finish it at five videos. Then the last video will be like three videos, I think, or some, something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, yeah, my math is not mathing. <laughs> That'll be it for now, guys. That's game. Sick of being the